Hello and welcome to the next Lucosa Retro Game Review video. And for this one it is Archer McLean's Paul, which was released in 1992 by Virgin Games. And okay, I reviewed Jimmy White's Whirlwind Snooker fucking ages ago now. And uh, this is basically the pool equivalent of that. <laughs> All there is to say. Um, the whole thing rather smacks of being a bit of an afterthought. It's as if, you know, Arts McLean had done the uh, Jimmy White snooker and somebody said to him, well, why don't you do a pool version? And he's just thought, fuck it, I might as well quickly knocked it together and here it is. I, I can't imagine this took him very long to do. He already had the game engine uh, set up. It's, uh, it's, it's a superb uh, game engine. It's the thing that makes the... Um, yeah, it's the thing that makes the game so good. Uh, Jimmy White's World with Snooker is widely regarded as the de facto snooker game. So, surely using the same engine would mean that uh, that makes this the de facto pool game. And you're right, it is. Um, so, well, I mean, it has everything here. So we have uh, three different types of pool. We can have the uh, eight ball UK uh, game, which is the one with the uh, reds and yellows. 8-Ball USA Bar Table, I can't remember if that's the one, I think that's also reds and yellows, isn't it? And then the 9-Ball uh, Rule, or 9-Ball Paul, I'll play that one to begin with. Now if we are playing 8-Ball, we can uh, yeah, you have to uh, edit the 8-Ball uh, Rules, but I'm not doing that anyway, so there we go. Can't edit nine ball rules, so they are played as normal. I'm going to go on the assumption that everyone here knows how to play nine ball pool. Uh, you can also set up a trick shot. I can't remember if you can do that in the uh, uh, Jimmy White snooker one. Uh, and we have like a demo mode. The disc features is just, you know, your best scores or setting up a, a, a trick shot or whatever. And the options again it's all things like uh, save games save scores you can have the hints and tips uh, panel showing but I don't bother with that I I know the game well enough that's for sure so anyway we've got the uh, type of pool set up let's set up the type of game so we can have two player practice one or two player regular game one or two player match where it's best of either three five or seven or we can set up a multiplayer tournament so you can have up to eight players and they just play you know a straight knockout uh, tournament against each other for this one we'll uh, just start a regular one player game right uh, select my opponent uh, let's go up against someone who's shit because then I might stand a bit of a chance because I am fucking hopeless at this um, Miss Q Mike sounds uh, interesting. He's surely going to be a load of shite. So, right. So he is breaking off. He's already fucked up by breaking off there. Told you. <laughs> Fucking point two already. And planned or not, he's got the one ball perfectly lined up. So yeah, he's doing really well. <laughs> And he's miscued straight away, but he still potted the fucking ball. So... He could actually position this and... He could have used that too to knock the fucking nine ball in, the fucking useless cunt. Right, so, um, first of all, we'll get the screen uh, type back to how I like it. I don't like it with all the icons down the side. I much prefer them across the top. So if you haven't seen uh, my review of uh, Jimmy White's Whirlwind Snooker uh, or you've never played it or whatever 
we'll go through these. So this is to select the cue power. So you just move the cue up or down, depending on how hard you want to hit it. When it comes to pull, I nearly always aim a case of hit and hope. Uh, that's to chalk the cue. Forget to do that, you will miss cue. That's to place top spin, to place side spin. That is to take the shot if we are at this angle. That's to put side spin on uh, to the right hand side. Backspin there. That's to view the line. If you right click it, you'll get one angle, but if you are really badly snookered, you will only get the one angle. Uh, that is to view the cue ball. If I click it now, it will put us in the position. And click it again, it goes around 180 degrees. That is to fine tune, uh, you know, finely position where you want the. Uh, Q position so the uh, left and right that one you've already seen the screen type this is to uh, change the angle if you want the, the Q raised or lowered this one shows you the whole table and then you have a uh, selection of different views and now that I've selected that it's yeah gonna do that which is a fucking pain in the ass uh, right click you can zoom in and out uh, left click, uh, change the angle. If you do left and right click, it changes the angle up and down. But it's also a bit tricky to do any fine sort of uh, tuning. So we'll go back to using this. Uh, this one, information. Okay, so it's just telling you the score. You've got to hold it down. Uh, game control. Oh, okay, right, well, that basically that's quit. Um, no, I do not want hints. I know how to fucking play the game. So, right, well, I've already set the cue power to complete hit and hope. So, here we go. Now, if you hold down the button when the shot's taken, it will follow the path of the cue ball, and in this case, straight down into the fucking pocket. And, um, it will also focus on the first ball you hit, so you've got an idea as to whether or not you've uh, scored a foul or not. I do tend to uh, score an awful lot of fouls. So that's what it's doing here. So clearly it did hit the two first, even though the eight ball has gone down. And that is a, a pretty quick... Uh, you know look at the various controls but that is it I mean it is exactly the same uh, control setup as uh, uh, Jimmy White's uh, snooker but um, I do think there is a bit of a problem with this which is that uh, Paul is a game well certainly as far as I'm concerned anyway it's a game that is played by drunks and people who are shit at snooker but for some reason are obsessed with playing uh, a uh, cue game and want to look good um, so for this to be released after uh, snooker we'd already had like you know the best uh, snooker game there is it's There you go, that's how you do that. So we're down to the nine ball. Let's see who wins this fucking frame. Uh, so anyway, as I was saying, I think I'm going to completely fuck this up, but well, well. Well, it's not gone down, that's for sure. Uh, um... Yeah, we've already had snooker, which is a far more challenging, far more skillful game. Uh, the table is a lot bigger, the pockets are a lot smaller, you know, it's, it requires far more skill. Pull, more often than not, is a case of just fucking hit and hope. Um, as I think I'm demonstrating here, rather. Okay, so here we go, and this has not gone down either, so completely bollocks that up. 
But I mean, you can see here, I've, I've got us down to the nine ball, and yet I've not really been lining up any shots. It's just been a case of, you know, hit the ball as hard as you can and just fucking hope for the best. Uh, a lot of time, that's all if you, anyone does in fucking pool. So I do, you know, I don't care if it sounds a bit snobby. Um, I, I look down my nose at uh, Paul. I just think it's a fucking wanky game played by people who are shit at snooker. Um, but, I mean, that said, if you are going to play a Paul game on, uh, you know, on the Amiga or indeed any fucking computer, this is the one, you know, it's uh, the best, the best person out there at all. So, Miss Q Mike beat me, which rather shows just how shit I am at this game. And so, yeah, they can shut up with the fucking applause, it wasn't that great. Uh, right, so let's, um, well, let's change the title of Paul then, let's go to the 8-Ball UK. So, uh, right, choose the type again. So it'll be uh, me again. Single player. This time we'll go up against uh, Cross Eyed Chris. Right, he sounds uh, interesting. Okay, so, right, well, it is me who uh, is playing, so I'll put the ball anywhere in the D. Um, right, maximum fucking power because it's the break. Alright, let's see what happens here. Quite a lot by the looks of it. Or, as it is, absolutely fuck all. <laughs> so, yeah, failed to put a ball off the break. Well, that fucking says it all. So, anyway, let's get on with the review then. Graphically, well, it's fucking identical to uh, the graphics in... Um, uh, Jimmy White's Whirlwind Snooker, so, I mean, the graphics are decent enough, they do exactly what is needed of them, um, yes, they do look pretty, what the fuck was that that he did there? Fucking hell. Right. So, yeah, but we're playing UK rules, I forgot to edit the rules, so I can only place it in the D. Alright, let's place this so surely I can't fucking miss this. I bet you I fucking will, though. Uh. Right, again, hit and hope, just slam the fucking thing. There we go, straight in. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you, you, you can't say, oh, I ain't got a clue what's going to happen here, I'm just going to smash the lot. You can't say the graphics are crap, they are not crap, they are fucking okay, you know, it's, it's, yeah, it's as simple as that. Um, in terms of uh, audio, oh, box, I've still got my, my free shot, alright. Oh well. Come on, even I can't fucking miss this one, surely. If ever their famous last words. Well, there you go. Uh, right, well. <laughs> if anyone's capable of missing this, it's me. There you go. Right on cue. What a fucking prick. But yeah, all right, uh, back to uh, the review. So audio, I mean, the audio is great. It does sound just like, you know, just as it should. The sound of the cue, the sound of, of uh, you know, the ball uh, contact. The sound of the chalk is a little bit exaggerated, but I mean, you know, it's not the end of the world. And then the gameplay, yeah, I mean it's it's there, isn't it? You know, it's if if you were to ask for more from a uh, you know pool game on uh, any computer, then you're basically you know expecting fucking miracles. I mean, how much 
better can you expect? You know, what what more do you want from a fucking pool game than well than what you're getting here? It's absolutely spot on. Which that pot was certainly not. Well, so fuck up that was. Uh, I think I can just about get to this one. But it's now going to be another fucking blast it. Oh, bollocks that up. Oh, it nearly went down. Instead, it's a fucking yellow that's gone down. So there you go, that's another foul. So how do I rate it? Well, yes, it's, you know, extremely well done. It's well put together. But then the engine was already here. Uh, basically, all Arts of Reclaim had to do was make the table smaller, just change the rules a little bit, and, you know, boss, your snooker game has become a poor game. So I, I can't say I'm impressed with the release because I really don't think there was very much... Uh, you know, I don't think there was very much done here at all. It was already, you know, it was all in place and he just had to do, like, you know, a small amount and voila. Yeah, that's a good place to fucking focus. So, you're right, well, we didn't see what the fuck happened. Not a lot by the looks of it. Oh, well, let's see if I can double this. It's close. I might just about be able to hit it a bit harder. Right, here we go. Complete bollocks it up. That black is getting very close to that corner pocket there. Uh, yeah. So, well, I score this. Um, seven out of ten it's it's a good uh, you know it, it is a good pool simulation it's just that well therein lies part of the problem it's a pool simulation uh, I, I just don't ha don't hold pool in a very high regard I mean having said all that this is a game that I did have back in the day um, I did go out and actually buy Jimmy White's Whirlwind Snooker because I was that impressed with it. This is a game that I uh, <clears throat> obtained. Um, and I suspect actually the vast majority of people um, got this game the same way. I, do, I, I don't have the figures or anything but I do get the impression that this game did not sell anything like as well as Jimmy White's Whirlwind Snooker did. Uh, if it had been released, you know, if the two games had been released the other way round, so this was first and then Jimmy White's uh, Snooker came along afterwards, I think it would have been a different story. But, no, they weren't. So obviously, I mean, obviously, Arthur McLean knew that you know, snooker was the better game. It was the, it was going to be the more popular uh, title if he had released that first. So he did, and um, yeah, by releasing this, uh, you know, re releasing this afterwards, a second, um, yeah, he was proved right. This game is going on for a lot longer than I thought. Fucking what a useless cunt. Well that red is now completely covering that pocket. Well, I bet you this fucker, it looks like he is... No, okay, no, he's not going to try and move it out. He's trying to cut that in. Fucking hell, he actually managed it. But come on, those two yellows are over the pocket. Just hurry up and get this fucking game over. Oh, you are fucking joking. 
Come on, even I ain't that fucking shit. Right, well, even I can't miss this one, so now it is just a case of, uh... Alright, let's just fucking bury it. Where's the cue ball going? Oh, that sounded like John Virgo there. Uh, right, there we go. You can see I'm putting so much thought into my shots here. It's no wonder the game's fucking dragging on. You fucking cunt. <laughs> well, I can't do anything. I'm just going to fucking... Right, there we go. Fucking hell, I nearly sent the yellow down anyway. Well, I can't do anything with the red from there. Alright, oh, right, well, one other thing. Um, this is being placed on an, uh, an Amiga 500. Um, Jimmy White's Whirlwind Snooker was a bit slow if you were playing it on an Amiga 500 whereas on the uh, 1200 it played quite a lot faster when you're moving the table around and stuff like that. Um, this isn't um, as slow as uh, Jimmy White's uh, snooker presumably because well the table's a lot smaller for a start so there's less graphics being rendered. Uh. Um, So, yes, if you're expecting this to be as slow as uh, the Jimmy White Snooker uh, game, no, it isn't. But, uh, yeah, so you don't need to be, you know, playing this on a 1200. Uh, you can play this on any computer. Looks like the black's going down. There you go. I won. What amazing skill. Yeah, you're telling me. So, right, there you go. So, that is Archer McLean's pool then. I'd so I'll give it 7 out of 10 because it's using a fantastic uh, game engine. Um, you know, it, it's just that I don't like pool. Uh, so, that does uh, rather hamper how well I'm going to rate it. Then again, the fact that I don't like pool and yet I still rate this 7 out of 10 might tell you something about it being, you know, Okay, if you are a Paul fan and you've not played this game before, then, uh, well, start playing it now. It is the best pool game out there for any computer. Um, if you are not a fan of Paul, chances are there is no point in even thinking about this one. Or rather predictable, really. So that brings this review to an end then, and uh, we will see you at the next one.